do. Senior day in Iowa City for folks like Josie Jewell, Akram Wadley and company. Of course, Elijah Sindelar, remember his last game out, he threw the ball 60 times, had a career high 370 yards and had a nice day today. Rolling out, finds DJ Knox going the other way for the first score of the game at 7-zip Purdue. Although Iowa gets their first points of the game on defense. Bringing down Sindelar in the end zone, doing the safety dance. S -S -A -A. Hawkeyes down by five there. Later on, Watley punches it in for the Hawkeyes to give them a 9-7 lead. So they own the second quarter, winning it 9 to nothing. But then in the third quarter, things went back Purdue's way. It's your guy, Howard. Mm -hmm. Anthony Mahungu. Mahungu. I made him your guy. I think he's Get him. Rick's guy. But still, 42-yarder there. Then here's Sindelar to Mahungu mm -hmm. once more. Seven catches, 135 yards, and two touchdowns. Now, Iowa's down 21-9 to when Nate Stanley finds T.J. Hawkins. Oh, he doesn't, because it's intercepted by Navon Mosley. But Iowa wasn't done, so they got a chance to score late in the game. They need two scores here and a two-point conversion. So there's your touchdown to Noah Fant. But they decide to go for two now. Hello. Down nine. What are we doing? It's an incomplete pass, which means now they needed two scores and an onside kick to get the ball back. Two onside kicks, really. In only a minute five, they weren't able to do it. And that's your ball game, folks. 24 to 15. We'll talk about that two-point 